During the period when feathered dinosaurs began to fly, there was also a flying reptile species. This is the fossilized footprint of a pterosaur, which was called the ruler of the skies. Some pterosaur specimens were rather small, while others became the largest flying animals of all time, with wingspans exceeding 10 meters. The size of this pterosaur can be deduced by the size of its footprint. Pterosaur first appeared 250 million years ago, which is much earlier than the evolution of feathered dinosaurs. These reptiles ruled the skies unchallenged for 200 million years. But the wings of a pterosaur were different from that of feathered dinosaurs or modern birds. Professor David Martel of the University of Portsmouth is knowledgeable about pterosaurs and explains the structure of its unique wings. This is the palm of the hand, whereas uh, our palm of the hand is very, very short. In pterodactyls, it's very, very long. And then most pterodactyls have three very, very short fingers uh, just here. Um, they seem to have lost the thumb, but they have one very, very long finger, which is equivalent to our number four finger. And this finger extends all the way along here. So this is an enormous finger, one of the longest fingers you'll find in the animal kingdom. And all of this makes the spar of the wing. This is the support for the wing. How did the pterosaur fly with such long wings? First, it had to crouch into a launching posture, after which it would have lifted its rear legs and then lean on its forelimbs. It could flap its wing at this point to fly. With its membrane-covered wing, the pterosaur flew gracefully in the air. It had the ability to cover hundreds of kilometers in a single flight, and experts consider the pterosaur to be a very well-adapted animal as it survived for 200 million years. Its bone structure gave it an advantage. Pterosaur had hollow bones that were less than a millimeter thick. These hollow bones are even lighter than bird bones. Air occupied the inside of the bones to assist flight. But the thin membrane on its wings was fragile and easily infected. If a pterosaur had an injured wing, it could not fly until it healed. Thus, these fragile wings, which were susceptible to the environment, put the pterosaur at a great disadvantage later on. Sixty-five million years ago, practically all life on Earth was wiped out by a cataclysmic event. Pterosaur and all dinosaur species became extinct. Thank you.